One morning, James saw Murdoch shunting his own train to go to the mainland. Good evening, Murdoch. Don't go too fast for the structure here. Mm -hmm. And James scuttled away, cackling fit to burst. Ignore him, said Murdoch's driver. At least we're doing honest work. Let that showboat have his moment, eh? James was an engine. To be an engine worthy of the express. That Murdoch doesn't have a thing about passages. I can make the time without being reliability. Rela what? Reliability. The longer the journey went on, the more tired James felt. James's vowels began to hiss in an alarming rate. Oh, that can't be good. The turning grimness. We'll stop at the next station, James. Just to see what's the matter, old boy. But it wasn't what James wanted to hear. Stop! I won't stop! I'll never get the express again if I do. Unfortunately for James, it wasn't his choice to do. He would then come to a stop on Gordon's Hill. James had juddered to a halt. Completely. Well, that's it. There's nothing but miles out here. We can only wait for someone to come and get us. That's all. Then, soon it and fucked, an engine came, luckily. Um, someone, come and get us, please! Goodness gracious, this is a thing, how'd you do? What's going on, James? Uh... Listen, I'm sorry for what I said earlier, Murdoch. I didn't mean it all. <laughs> Come on, Murdoch. Don't leave me and the passengers out here. Murdoch wasn't so sure. The fact controller had been very clear on the subject of pulling the express for him. Um, I'll call for help. No, no Murdoch, you can't. Everyone is busy. You know you can't. It'll take too long for someone to come in and get us here. You could do it, Murdoch. Well, I'm not sure. The fat controller... The fat controller doesn't have to know. Oh, please, Murdoch, come and help me. I won't tell him. Please, Murdoch, please. Murdoch took a deep breath. And then... Right, I'll go and help you. Oh, thank you, Murdoch. What a nice engine you are. James and Murdoch funded down the line. Duncan, the little engine, was quite surprised. As Murdoch left, James was taken by Donald to the works. Thanks again, Murdoch. You're a splendid engine, you know. But Murdoch didn't hear James. The Fat Controller had heard about Murdoch's incident with James and the Express. But luckily for Murdoch, the excuse with the Express and James was for a good reason. And so, Sir Topham let it slide.